Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's the Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Icarus. Uh, our last episode, we went on a bit of a um, jolly to go and um, explore the map a bit, and we've came all uh, came all the way down here, down here, around here. We found some um, exotics over here. We found um, a cave. I think it was J14 somewhere over here. Oh, no, that might have been a deep vein mine. Some more deep vein mines over here. We found a couple of caves over here um, and up here. So, yeah, we did quite a bit. Um, I'm just sort of running around trying to open up the map, trying to open up all this like tropical area. So, I think this is the bottom bit down here. I'll, I will come around this way and just have a look. Um, we've been attacked by several bears. It is the middle of the night. Um, I made a little campfire. I made little. Um, water purifier just so I could eat and drink and there's plenty of oxide on the map which we've been able to collect to keep us uh, topped up with oxygen so um, yeah here we are so let's just have a quick look what's left on here uh, do I want to take let, let's just leave that running I may come back here in a moment but for now I want to head across this way which means jumping in the water and extinguishing our light. And now we're on the other side of the light and back up again. Let's get out the water. Uh, this won't be the problem, we might not be able to get out the water. <laughs> so that's a really good start. Now oh, there we go. Come on, up the hill, up, up, up. Right. So I'm not really... Oh, you end up at level as well in the last episode. I haven't um, allocated the points yet. I'm going to save that till I'm back at my base. So, so, so there's a little camp just over there. That was enough to keep us alive. And we did experience a storm. Um, which uh, we actually got struck by lightning. Dear, dear, baby, dear. That's okay. That's all okay. Oh, and yet another cave. Wow, there's plenty of caves around here. Oh crap! Run away! Run away! That's two of them. Yeah, so there's another cave just there. So, I mean, if you want to start, this is quite a good place to start. Um, I was just going to try and go around to the southeast here. Which way am I facing? So, I want to go around this way. Yeah, it's a pond. Oh, no, I didn't go where I wanted to go. I wanted to go over that. Get over that uh, oak crop of rock. It's difficult to see at night. Ah, sulfur. Have we got any inventory space? Yes. So I can only take 50 because then I'm out of inventory. Can I get up here? No, I don't think so. No, no, no don't break your leg. <laughs> Nearly. Go on. That's uh, um, silica. That's all that would be up here. Just to see what is around this way. Um, I want to go over to here, I guess, and just have a look. I think this is another desert biome. I just want to make sure. Um, which way am I heading? I think head south. Get past the low crop of rock. Is just here. Uh, 
and then follow it along. That sounded like yet another bear. No bees, there must be a beehive in the tree trunk there. Yeah. Let's just quickly take care of that. Broke my spear. Two pills again. Pair everything I can. And I'm over encumbered. Damn. Not what I want. Um. Um. No. Yeah, you know what? I'll get rid of that. I don't need that. It's heavy. I'm still over encumbered. Oh, what don't I want? don't need all of that silver so I can drop half of it where's he nah, I just got rid of the sticks and I don't need fibre well, I don't need you anyway there we go we're not over encumbered anymore that's the main thing so yeah this is a lane I believe to Yeah, so as you can see, I'm not going to go all the way up here. There is another desert biome over there. What I do want to do is actually allocate a talent point. Um, I want to actually wait improvement. Yeah, that's what I want. That one, so I can carry a bit more. I've got no solo points, no. Okay. So let's head back, right? So we're going to head back up. The plan is to head back up here and have a quick look down here and then head back to a base over here. So let's just go this way. Try to avoid any more bear attacks or something like that. There is, like I said, there's a way, if you saw my last video, you can see there is a way of actually beating the bears. You just got to try and dodge. It's very difficult to do at night because there's just not enough light to see what you're doing. Okay, let's get my stamina up a bit. Um, but during the day, as long as you've got a sort of openish area, openish flat area, you're fairly good. Um, so I come to rock face here, so I'm head around to the left. And I'm going to abandon our little camp I set up just over here. I don't really need it anymore. Um, I've got my health and everything up. I've got water. I just want to head back up here. As you've seen at night, it's very dark. Um, where am I going? Oh, too far that way. And it's too easy to get turned around. How are we doing for oxide? Okay, don't need any more at the moment. I'm not too worried about wolves. Or Tyrannus. Um, bears, yes, I've encountered them at night. That's salt. Um, yes, yeah, so where I want to go. Here's the lake, I think. Yeah, right by the lake. That's awesome, that.
Uh, yeah, so it just, like I say, this episode, I'm just going to try and explore the map a bit more. Uh, see what we can find. And, um, can I get up here? Or do I have to go around? I have to go around. Here, don't worry about that. Large deer, it does scare the shit out of me when I do that. Um, I'll kind of want to head northeast to try and hit that gap. Other way, oh, can I get through that way? Don't know. Let's, let's check. I'd love. Well, that's a new one on me. I've not seen a kiwi before. Hello, Mr. Kiwi. Ooh, dangerous little bugger. What was that? I just got something. Who knew kiwis could be so deadly? Um. Okay, nothing I really want. From there, I'll let the wolf have him. Uh, let's carry on heading this way. Well. That's a new one. Right, is that up? Yes, yeah, so I'll head sort of this way. Not south, not south. Oh yes, south. Sort of east, south, east. This way. Dear. Can I get up this gap up here? That's what I'm interested in. Can I get through there? An answer is yes. So then I need to go across this way up to the wall. Be it. Surf around the edge of here. Baby deer, it's okay. And then sort of east northeast. Man, it'd be so much easier if the sun was up. Deer, baby deer, just keep an eye on burnt trees. <laughs> Must be close to where I was when the storm happened. Um which one happened that way. As if heading towards my lander. Rabbit. Stamina tanked. Yes, where we'll go.
The advantage of hugging to the cliffs is it's a bit more open and uh, there is things like oxide and things if you need them. Usually around the base of the cliffs. So I'm gonna, okay, so I need to just get around this rock. And head east ish. So that's south east. I want to head this way. See what we can find down here. Okay, it's all about opening up the map and gaining some speed along the way. I'm trying not to die, of course. that one give me maximum stamina maximum health yeah take that one that's a massive bonus and my torch has just expired oh it's lightening up what time of day is it five oh, six o'clock in the morning Sun is rising, good. I'm actually trying to find a location where I built before because I knew there's quite a bit of stuff around there. And it's quite a good place, although there were some crocodiles, I have to admit. Um, and they did like snacking on me and Komodo dragons, which also like to take a lumboat if you give an author a chance. That nah, sounds like a deer. What expired? That was one of my food stuffs. What do you give me? Maximum stamina, maximum stamina. Nah, I can't see you. Right, let's head down here. Obviously our base is up here. At least I'm starting to see things a bit better now the sun is coming up. Which is making life just that little bit better. And navigation that little bit better. So I can see these cliffs now, you see. Yeah, not much further down here, I don't think. And I'll turn around and start heading back towards my base. And we can start um, building it out a bit more. Another gold deposit. Well, I certainly come across a few gold deposits today. On the last couple of days in the game, anyway. Yeah, I think this is the end down here. Um, that is sort of west, uh, eastish from where I am. Yeah, nothing else down here. Um, there's no access to any of the biome over here. You've got to go up there to get to the Arctic zone. Um, so we've got access to desert, desert. Arctic and Arctic, so we need to know where they, where they are. So I'm just going to do a sort of 180 and start heading back up towards my base, see what I can find on the way back. Um, see if we can't do enough to get ourselves up another level. Uh, how is that inventory doing? Uh, we're sort of halfway there. I'm just going to have to um, do some bits to uh, get some XP. I'm also getting closer to that level 15, that magic level 15 when I can start building the masonry bench. And 
then start building uh, yeah sorry building mason bench oh sorry sorry little one uh, point this one without the other yeah stop building mason you know let's carve them up because still get XP for carving them up um, and then start converting our building to wood um, yeah that's assuming our building hasn't burnt down in the last storm what's up there something up there what is it No, the shot's not that good. Then we're going up here. Yeah. I could be getting low on arrows, actually. Ooh, seven. Yeah. Bone arrows, bone arrows. Where are you, bone arrows? Bone arrows. Is that all, then? What have I run out of? Sticks. Grab some sticks as I go past. That's more like it. around here I mean this game planet is massive you know there's plenty to do on it so and this is only one of uh, I think three maps now when they're talking about releasing more I know I was reading on the, um, this week's update they're talking about Prometheus 2 expanding that um, obviously Prometheus is a bit more of a volcanic type environment uh, which can be very difficult and then the sticks as well which is another one this is the Olympus map Okay, so this is just going through the throat here. Uh, there was a deep mine somewhere around here. Let's see if I can find it. Very easy. I know I marked it. But I can't see it. I'm not going to spend hours running around. Another storm coming in. No, no, I can't see it. I'll stumble across it probably sometime in the game, but... But now I'm happy just to head back towards my base. Try and get there as quickly as I can see there's a storm's coming in. It's not a bad storm, it's just a rainstorm. But I do need the XP, sorry. Right up the jacksy. Which way is it to my base? Uh, Northeast-ish. Head towards my um, lander. And the day is it? It is only in the morning. I didn't see that rabbit, I just couldn't be bothered to stop for him. Suffering um, exposure damage now. Well, it's not slowing me down too much at the moment. Uh, at least the wind's not slowing me down yet. So there are bears still in the game. I was wondering because I haven't seen any in such a long time. 
And then, uh, yeah, so I've encountered three now, I think. Three? One, two, yeah, three. Oh, this will be from the water. Is that, oh no, it's not. What is that symbol? Rain exposure, okay, so it's rain exposure. And there's a little hut over there. So we've made it back in one piece. We didn't die, thankfully. I think the wind was that strong. Um, Quite sure I'm exposed to the weather in the water, but apparently I am. And here we are, back safe and sound, although our hut needs a bit of attention by the looks of it. First things first, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. That on me, don't leave that on me, don't leave that on me, don't leave that on me, or that. Does. Leather. Bones. Anything else in there? No. Got some fibre, got some wood, got some sticks. You and you can go on there. You can go on there. I'll activate you. As can you. You and you can go in there. I can't see that because it's about And then, um, might as well quickly repair this because I now need to fix my building. Yeah, let's just stop fixing it up. It doesn't look like I'm going to take any more damage from the storm. The worst of it's over. I'm hoping we'll get to level 15. In the next session, in which case I'll not have to worry about being able to fix, uh, replace everything with stone, and I'll not need to worry about having to repair my base every five minutes. Yeah, it does take quite a bit of damage from those storms, but that's okay, that's okay. So that's all the walls done, now just the ceiling. I see they've also added in the latest update um, stone bricks, so it's, I think it's tier 3, um, so you've got to have a level 20 and above. Um, but yeah, you can start now making uh, stone bricks um, in any zone. Oh, that's my tool broken. Uh, previously you could make bricks, I think Prometheus. I think it's the only place you can make normal bricks, but the stone bricks you can do in any zone. Any map. That's it. Um, they're also changing the way that food uh, grows and lasts, so um, storm and thing can damage food while it's growing. Um, and how well it grows will depend on what environment you're in and um, what it's growing in, what plot it's growing in, whether it's just a, a mud pile like I had here, or whether it's a um, proper um, gardening plot. 
Right, so that's that built, repaired. Tech tree, what do we want? We want our oh, axe, definitely. Um, let's just some more food decayed. Um, that's the wooden gardening plot I was mentioning. Fishing bench, now that will allow us to skin our fish. I'm not too fussed about it, to be honest. Um, we can now make flour. Um, steel bloom leaves level 20. Crush bone I don't really want yet. I could get the better bow. I could get the herbalism bench. I'm going to go for the herbalism bench because then I can unlock. Um, where is it? Antibiotics. Which would treat the. Um, pneumonia and before I get flatbread is there anything else I want to get granted by DLC okay so they're DLCs which I haven't got yet I will probably buy some more DLC decorating bench now I've got that I've got the fencing I've got the beehive um, Water bomb, no. Poxy, no. Not just yet. Fish bench, no. Um, better arrows. I see there's a bolt there, but I've got the crossbow. Where does see the flatbed there? Let's go for the flatbed. So I need to build a herbalism bench. And what do I need for the herbalism bench? I need sticks and stones. You'll break my bones. Um, there's the stones. There's the sticks. Stones and sticks. Make that herbalism bench. And he can go over here with the rest of it and get it in. So on here I can make flatbread with wheat. Trust the flour over and water. Let's do that to craft. What else did I get? I got um, axe, yeah. Iron axe. What do I need for the iron axe? I need wood and leather. So leather is here. And wood is here. Um, and now craft an axe. And while I'm here, I'm going to repair my... What do I need for that? Oh, I need iron. Got more iron here. Uh, repair my knife. And put my axe in my backpack. How are you doing? Yeah, you're cooking well. And now it is much easier to chop down trees. Well, two whacks does it. Um, the late one just literally one whack. And then if you get the lumber, whatever it is, unlocked, it would go straight in your backpack and you don't need to harvest there. Uh, pick it up. You literally hit it with the axe straight in your backpack. Which can be useful, but it's not desperately urgent. There you go, that's a, so much quicker. Now oh, I want to plant some things. Um, 
Where would I put the seeds? Was in here? Uh, I've got one, one watermelon one. Okay, and berry one. Oh, there's an existing plant there. And there. Okay, what's there? Ah. I just couldn't see them. Well, what's this one? What's on this one? Anything on here? Spoiled plant, okay. So that was like a damaged plant. Um, I do have some more pots somewhere. Yeah, run. What's it doing? I need some berries and some watermelon. So you can make a nice fruit cocktail with this. Once you get the um, cooking bench, which I'll probably unlock next time. Only two melons, okay. Eat that. I want to eat that. I don't want to eat that. Let's consume after it doesn't go to waste. And you can go into one of oh, there is. Go into there to make compost later. Have you finished making my flatbread? You have, I need more water. Bread, Max, Craft, take you. We'll put you on there, and that will make flatbread. And flatbread gives you an XP bonus, I believe. Five percent experience gained, uh, plus ten water consumption, plus hundred stamina regeneration, and uh, consumes on space. That's 10 uh, health and 50 food. Okay, um, is that just finished? Yes. Okay, take you back. And you can go on there. It also lasts quite a long time, the, the flatbread. Um, Curing. Take some of you. Take some of you. I take you. All right, more wood. I will completely clear this island eventually. Of uh, everything. So I can build a big clear base on it. So the deep mining mains, you need a deep mine, deep vein miner to actually get the, the stuff out the ground. And there's um, an electric one, and then there's a biofuel one. The biofuel one, um, you can obviously get earlier because it's simple to make, uh, but it means it does mean you've got to keep visiting it to fill it with uh, biofuel. And uh, the electric one, as long as you've got power from something like a water wheel, then it will continually mine until its inventory is full. Uh, and as you appreciate that, you know, 
pounds of 50, that's quite a lot. But there are certain things you need a lot of later in game, certainly things like um, copper, um, for making electronics or whatever, you have want to go up another level. Um, you can get through a lot of copper in the game, and gold, obviously tons of iron. Um, only three points this time, but three talent points, two solo, two one solo and two normal. So let's just allocate those in a second. Finish carvesting this tree. There's a base over there. Trying to avoid the flowers for the time being because um they actually you know I can I can hold so I just have to put them in one of the cupboards out the way. They don't go off, so I can stick them in here. Uh, plenty of wood now, so um, let's just quickly build up some more wood piles. Not that I really need it, I could just stick these in a, a cabinet or a cupboard to take up less space, but... Um, I thought just like stack them outside. And what amazes me is, right, so I'm just going to show something here, so I got rid of that. So I've currently got 100 kilos on me. I'm going to take a wood that I've got in my backpack, 100 wood I've got in my backpack, which weighs... Let's see, how much does that weigh? Let's just go and stick one in a cupboard here find out so, so that's 85 so that weighs 15 kilos as is I've we'll turned into a wood pile so that was 85 before so now 140 so that's 60 kilos so that 15 kilo pile of wood has turned into a 16 a 60 kilo wood pile. Yeah, it's the same volume of wood. I know I get that in this game. <laughs> How can that be? I know it's just a, a mechanic of the game and it doesn't really affect us because we just put these down but I just think it's a bit stupid. Oh, that's how I've used all the wood. Um, right. Talent, point, uh, talent points, first of all. Let's max out our carrying capacity. So it was 140, I think. It is now... So 120 is now 140 kilos. Um, is that right? Yeah. What else do I want? I've got ooh, no more here. I've got solo points. That's maxed, that's maxed, that's maxed. Um, increased movement speed. Um, talent points. Cooking station. I want that. I've got that, I've got that. I can do without them for the moment. Um, I'm not really growing a lot of my own food, so I'm not too fussed about it. Bone epoxy, don't need to worry about that for a moment. Um, bees, wall, torch, no. Decorative bench, no. So, is there an iron scythe, iron sickle, 
and an iron hammer. Again, they're not needed as such, but they are useful. That's a sheep. It's an iron spade, watering can for your. It's a taxidermy knife, a shield. Number two, first iron spear. I definitely want that. That's the other thing I was thinking of. I knew it was another weapon I wanted. Um, and armor wise. No, I'll wait to go up the. get the next armor bench, uh, next armor level before I'll start buying additional armors. Or the better armors. Uh, I do want the textile bench. Because that will then unlock the leather backpack, which will give me uh, an increase in my number of slots in my inventory. So I'm waffling here a bit. So right, okay. So what else do I want to do? I wanted to make some antibiotic tonic. Ooh. So I haven't got epoxy, so I haven't unlocked it. I don't think. No, I haven't. But I can make it with honey and charcoal, so... That's some honey. Got charcoal in there? No. And I have some charcoal. Now I'm overloaded. Uh, charcoal can go in there, and the honey can go in there. And how many these can I make? Let's craft those. What have I got on here? 20 food. I want the flatbread on me. Need quite a few. I'm be running at the moment. Um, what was the other thing I unlocked? It was a cooking bench. So, there's a cooking bench. There it is. I need four iron ingots. 20. You see, it goes through these so quick. You know the type of thing, my god, I'm harvesting a lot of iron, but it doesn't last long at all. And the textile, I need wood. Oh well, okay. Oh mate, boy, how did you get over here? My arrow back, thank you. And now we'll take everything. Okay, it's my cooking bench. Now my textile bench. And as you can see, I'm also running out of space to put things, so cooking bench, I would prefer it over here. But I can stick it here, actually, as long as I can get to these cupboards, which I can. And textile bench, you can go over here. It's quite a big bench, the textile bench. No, we'll go that way. Um, Arctic pelt and fibre to make... what's that? Arctic pelt. Okay, so I need wool. Okay, I'm just looking. Okay, so that gives you more access to different items. Cooking station. See, this is what I was after, so now I can go that, that. Craft these. So these are, again, better foods. And this now gives you... Uh, 75 health, 75 stamina, minus 10 oxygen consumption, minus 10 water consumption. So that, and 100 food when consumed. So that's quite good. That gives you health and stamina. Where these just give you stamina, 
and so do the um, watermelons. You can also, if you've got meat on you, or meat, turn it into rendered fat, which is useful in some of the other uh, dishes. Although I can't remember one. Where's the one that needs rendered fat? Seed cracker. Any seeds on me? Oh yeah, let's try that. Uh, so cream corn, corn, water and animal fat. And that will give you 150 maximum health, 25, so that's a good one as well. So, yeah, it does open up additional foods which you need. Um, so I'm going to go and um, think about what I'm doing. Not that one. Not that one. I want with my spade. What do I do with my spade? There it is. Get me mud piles. Yeah, get me. I want some more dirt. I'm gonna. Uh, Dig some more dirt because I want to make some more piles. I can only craft a couple of those because I don't space in inventory. So I'm going to uh, plant some watermelon, I'm going to try and plant some corn so I can start making these better foods. Seeds. Corn seeds anywhere? Oh yeah, look at that. Corn seeds, you can go down there. Um I have many watermelon seeds. Oh no. Hmm, that's annoying. Oh I planted the watermelon, didn't I? Alright, let's just plant the corn for now. Because I can get lots of um Plant it all out in corn. I can get lots of fat just from hunting animals. You're all done, you're all done, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Stick you back in there. Okay, so um, there's my tonics. They'll keep me healthy. I've got food. I've got way too much crap on me now again. I've been out collecting. My favourite thing. Oh, I've got a wood pile there as well. No wonder I'm getting heavy. Look at that. You can go back on here. Uh, a bit of fibre, a bit of wood, sticks, a bit of wood. Bit of leather, you can go in there. Bit of bone. I've got no fur on me. A fibre. Go with that. Um, stone can go in here. That's kind of soil actually. Put soil in there. And my spade. Where's my spade go? I'll put you in there because you'll be handy. Um, Still got sticks on me. 
put you in there and I'll stick the small stack of sticks up there. Along with speed, I'll put my fire whacker. Okay, I need to drink water. Water's getting low. Alright guys, I think uh, I think we're going to leave it there again. Thanks for watching. Um, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to support me long term, I do have a Patreon page where I'm running a X4 series at the moment. It's Patreon only at the moment. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.